Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. This is Madden 18 on EA Sports. Two teams will need their quarterbacks to step up and lead their offenses on the gridiron today. It's Stanton's Cardinals going up against Tom Savage's Texans. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Thank you very much, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL. The National Football League is here and on the air. They do it big here in Houston, and a second ago, it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. Hi again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And you know, Charles, as Larry pointed out in the open, got a couple of great quarterbacks set to square off here this afternoon. That ball's probably going to be flying all over the place, isn't it? Oh, without a doubt. And the game has never been more quarterback-centric than it is now. And both of these teams have top-flight signal callers. Now the veteran kicker, Phil Dawson, ready to get us started. Get strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. This fielded at the two. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Houston coming off the close defeat last week to Indianapolis 20 to 14 and yes Tom Savage bringing out the Texans of course Deshaun Watson with the ACL injury in that Colts game Savage 19 to 44. Tough adjustment for him and the team trying to recover from losing Deshaun Watson to injury. I mean that just takes the spirit out of a team so they're trying to bounce back from that. But remember when the season began Tom Savage was a starting quarterback for the Houston mm. Texans. They're hoping to get that Tom Savage the rest of the year. This is Lamar Miller across the 30 to the 31 yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And let's take a look at the Texans offense. Will Fuller is one of the young flyers in the NFL and gets to top speed in just a couple of steps. So everyone has to respect the deep game because it'll blow past people in a hurry. But what that does is leaves open space underneath. He can take the short pass, turn it into a bigger game because he makes people miss. If he takes care of his hands and doesn't drop a pass or two in a game, he's going to be one of the best receivers in the league. Three down, three down. All right, here we go. Green, three down. On second down, here's Miller. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. And the 11 defensive starters for Arizona. It's easy to talk about Patrick Peterson because you can be definitive about his game. Tremendous against the run because he's an excellent tackler. Can run with anyone because of his speed. Has the size to play the football downfield extremely well. And then you throw in his kick return ability. You have one of the top corners in the NFL year in and year out. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. They'll try to run for it with Miller. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It'll be a loss of a yard. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. They tried to run right into the teeth of the defense on third down, but um, looked like those teeth were pretty sharp. <laughs> <laughs> they were having absolutely none of it stuffed them for a loss. Yeah, couldn't get any leverage up front and move people aside in order to run the ball. Here now, Shane Leckler, 41-year-old punter, to kick it away. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. 
In his 11th NFL season, Drew Stanton will bring out the Arizona offense. And last week, I mentioned 11th season, just his 14th career start with Palmer out. They got the win, though. Yeah, he certainly did. He's 15 to 30, 201 yards, two touchdowns, the interception. The receivers trust him, but above all, his head coach Bruce Arians trusts him. Knows the offense. He's a tough, gritty type of a player. And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks. Right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And here are the offensive starters for Arizona. I can go on and on about Larry Fitzgerald and his numbers, which are considerable, and everyone knows that. But the thing I keep coming back to, he never quits seeking knowledge. Every year, he works with former NFL players who were great wide receivers in order to improve his game, watches a ton of film, Always curious, always finding a way to adapt and improve his game. On second down, Peterson. And he's going to be unable to get upfield as they take him down at the 21-yard line. One yard, the official pick up there, so it's going to set up third and nine. And a look now at the defense for Houston. Jadavian Clowney, to me, is an example of a player having good health finally for him and being matched in the right position finally in his career. Began it as an outside linebacker, which I never thought suited his talents. To me, put his hand on the ground, go get the quarterback, and that's what Houston did with him in 2016, and it resulted in his best season to date and his first Pro Bowl as a player. Third down, Stanton. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. And that's a great opening series defensively. You force what should be a three and out on your opening possession. And great coverage there on third down to force the incompletion to set up fourth. Andy Lee, three-time All-Pro on to punt. Back deep for the Texans, Will Fuller. It's taken to the 26. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. And the Texans set to come onto the field. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Savage on first. He's got his man on the crossing route. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And there they went crossing route against the zone defense. What do you think of that? It takes real coordination between the passer and the receiver because you've got to read those zones and where the open spots are and be on the same page with the guy throwing the football. Because sometimes you're throwing it in front of the zone. Sometimes you're throwing it between the zone. Sometimes the receiver's going to just kind of find a spot and what we call sit down and present himself to the quarterback and throw it there. It's a tough read, but when they're in sync, it's really effective. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Three yards left to grab here on third down. Here's Savage. And that is incomplete. 
You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. Here's Shane Leckler now as he'll kick it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> Here's Peterson as they begin on the ground. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Hey, how about Adrian Peterson last week? He's 32 years old. He had a career height, 37 carries. Yeah, for 159 yards against the 49ers. The most in history by a player 32 years or older. So that fits totally the nickname he prefers, AD, for all day. Looking to throw on second down. Stanton throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Larry Fitzgerald was the intended target, and it's third down. And on third and eight, defensively, they're going to beef up the secondary. Six defensive backs. From the gun, Stanton. And this is going to be incomplete. Here's Andy Lee now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fielded at the 20. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And this is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. First and ten, Savage. And yeah, this would complete to Will Fuller. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. That crossing route is so effective when you hit it just right because you get a guy on the move, and then we see the end result there. Nightmare for the defense. They got a guy with a full head of steam. Not only does he catch it, but he picks up additional yardage after it. Fresh set of downs here. They go play action with Miller. Now it's Savage. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Corey Peters with a great push up front. He picks up the sack at a loss of eight. This Cardinals pass rush in 2016 got home 48 times. That's a pretty good number. A very good number. Led the league. Is it just because the dudes that they had or the scheme or both or what? It's always the dudes first, but their scheme, attacking, pressure, they'll continue to pile up the sacks. Oh. 
Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got Rome. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. That'll get a little bit back, give him five on the run. And they'll be left with a third and 13. An extra DB added here for the cards on third. Blitzer play coverage. the gun. Savage. Under pressure here and down he goes. Shaq back at about the 43 yard line. Hassan Reddick, the rookie from Temple. And that'll bring up fourth down. And partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? Here's Shane Leckler now as he's on to punt for Houston. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. So out now come the Cardinals. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? First and ten, Stanton. It's complete to Jerron Brown. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you wonder, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. They'll run it now out of the gun. Room here to run. He finds an opening past the 40. AP still got it. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. That one good for 33 and a first. That run is what defenses don't like about dealing with Adrian Peterson. His ability to drop a shoulder and run through contact. And he's amazing at keeping those strong legs going, isn't he? For him, no run is ever truly over. I mean, he's actually not even convinced that when they blow the whistle, he's actually down. That's how he finishes runs in a big way. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Green, 39. On first down, Stanton out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down.
And they'll be in search of 11 yards here on third down. Off the play fake, Stanton. And he's got Gresham. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. So there on that play, offensively, they ran the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let them know that that receiver is crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Again, Peterson. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards on the pickup, and that's going to bring up a third down. The Cardinals on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Operating from the gun, Stanton, and unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. Now on fourth down, Bruce Arians will send out his field goal unit. This will be, let's see, 38 yards out. And this is just outside the right upright. It's no good, and this will remain a scoreless game. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. The results for them so far, not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet, you're trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice, and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? Start out on the ground. It's Lamar Miller. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage, and that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. Second down, here's Savage. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. Tom Savage took over as a starting quarterback late in 2016, but got hurt, unable to play in the playoffs. But he's back entrenched as Bill O'Brien's number one QB starting 2017. But... Sean Watson, their number one choice, <laughs> lurking in the wings. Let's go! 319! 
Here's Savage on first down. Oh, the spin. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. So not much to speak of scoring-wise in this first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's Texans football as we get going in quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. play be able to stack that one up but they get back in the huddle he's got to he's got to tell his guys up front great job they kept people off of him allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner and filled the gap nicely kept him to just a one yard gain to throw on second down to Savage over the middle and it's incomplete Will Fuller was the intended target and it's third down The Texans on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and nine. All right, here we go. 3 19. 3 19. From the gun, here's Savage. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Here's Shane Leckler now. He's been terrific so far. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? They start the drive with Peterson. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? to the tight end and look at the size of these players nowadays at that spot 6'4", 6'5", and up a lot of guys used to be basketball players somehow came back to football and that's really good for the game of football you're getting better athleticism great hand-eye coordination guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes
First down, here's a run with Peterson. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. A well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audibled there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled, except for the one the offense really wanted to run through, and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. Now Stanton, and Gresham has it left side. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. The offense on third down tonight, they've only converted once in four tries. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll run it. Here's Peterson. <laughs> And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Actually love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. This is Williams, and he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. Stanton caught right side Gresham and he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown Jermaine Gresham 34 yards and the Cardinals are in for six boy it's nice to have that big reliable target you can go to each and every time a lot of people see that position as a fallback throw it to them when all else fails not at all this guy can make plays and that's exactly what he just did yeah play here for a touchdown here's phil dawson now for the point after and the cardinals will go up seven to nothing So that drives seven plays in length. And it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. Here's Dawson now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. DeAndre Hopkins and the rest of the offense heading back onto the field. A chance maybe here for them to get him more involved. They're down here on the scoreboard, and he's been very quiet. And the silence has been deafening for his team. They don't need that at all. They need fireworks. They need explosive plays. They need him touching the football in any way possible. Maybe go to some jet sweeps. Anything to get him going. Yeah, something to get him the ball. We'll see if they can do it. Let's go. They go play action here on first down. And incomplete on a deep ball. C.J. Fedorowicz, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. 
Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because, like, like him, it's going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Pretty good running there, nine yards. Sets up a third and one. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? The Texans on third down, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Savage now to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and then just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. Here's Shane Leckler now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 18. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And the Cards will take over first and ten. Adrian Peterson now getting ready to go again on offense. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game through the air first. Maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. They give it to Peterson. And not a whole lot doing there, as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. They run again with Peterson. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. The Cardinals on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and seven. Here we go now. Boom, ah! From the gun, Stanton, and that is incomplete. Here's Andy Lee now as he's on to punt for Arizona. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this will do the job nicely as that'll be out of bounds just inside the 10-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. And a lot of times you talk about establishing the ground game. Probably something they need to do more of here losing in the second quarter. When you're riding your best horse, you've got to lather him up. The best running backs I've ever talked to, they've all said the exact same thing to me. I'll even break a good sweat until I get to 20 carries. You're full of good wisdom. Let's see if they can get him into the game more now. And tough starting field position here. Let's go. They begin with a run by Miller. 
And he's going to be taken down here at about the 10. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Miller uses the spin, spins past another. Oh, my man. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down and about the length of the football. The offense on third down tonight, a pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Savage from the shotgun snap. He finds his target, Fuller. And a big collision there as he winds up flat on his back. Ten yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. He was looking there for Bruce Ellington. And now it's second down. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. here. This is Deontay Foreman. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. A big run there. 29 yards and a first. That looked like a two-deep coverage, which we call cover two. And what that really means is you have corners, what we call rolled up in about a five-yard area on the outside receivers. Then your safeties are back closer to the hash marks near the middle of the field, somewhere around 10 to 12 yards back. So if you can break through the first level, you've got a chance to run before you encounter any type of resistance from the safeties. We saw the example of it right there. Again, it's Foreman, and not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, sometimes a tough game to figure out. One play, he looks so good, and then the next play, so bad, going backwards. Yeah, in a span of two plays, you go from hero to goat, right, to use one of the cliches. But I think what often happens is you have a big run, and sometimes you try and do too much with your next one. here by one of the Texans up front. In comes the flag. Foster, offense. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. And here comes play number six on this drive. Savage now on second. Looking sideline incomplete. 
had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. The Texans on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. This is third and 16. Play action. It's Savage. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. Touchdown, Houston. Will Fuller, 48 yards. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream, one you don't want to wake up from. But for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it results in the Texans finding the end zone. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over, and they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked so well. Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Here we go now. Three. They run the counter now. It's Peterson. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Shifty footwork gets him a little extra on the play. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. comes to Peterson. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. That good for 22 and a first down. All right, I've got to be careful here, all right? He's on the plus side of 30. There may be a little gray in the beard, but that's not slowing down his feet as far as he's concerned. What are you saying? I'm on the plus side of 30. Well, if you're on the plus side of 30, you don't know what I'm on the plus side of. <laughs> All I know is that run right there, let us know there's still some life in those legs. Absolutely. Still got a lot of life left in those legs. We're just two minutes away from sending you to Orlando for Larry Ridley in our EA Sports Halftime Report, so don't forget about that coming up shortly. Yeah, it wouldn't be a halftime without him, and we thank him for doing the highlights. Let's go get a snack. So here we go, first and ten now. Up 
operating from the gun. Stanton. It's brought in complete. It's John Brown. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. To throw on second down. Stanton, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Off the play fake. Stanton. The 20. And all the way down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That was a nice pickup, some chunk yardage there. Some of those big yards downfield with a little bit of rack thrown in there, a little run after catch, and it came on a crossing route. I could just hear one of my friends who won four Super Bowls as a quarterback always said the same thing. What route does the defense hate? Crossing route. Hate it, hate it, hate it, because it's hard to change direction when they get going full speed in the other way. From the gun, Stanton, and that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Britton Golden, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. A drive that time of six plays, and the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. Here's Dawson now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. Tom Savage ready to lead his troops back onto the field. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure that his team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game, but just let him know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me, we'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. The first down throw coming, Savage. And he's got it, over the middle, Fedorowicz. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. Second down now after the pass completion. Operating from the gun, 
Savage. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. So after the sack of Savage, the Texans with a third and long forthcoming. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. Now Foreman. And he's not even going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now here's a timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Here's Shane Leckler now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. It'll be a 48-yard punt. Five there on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects it to at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, here we go. Boom, on first and ten, Stanton toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Jaron Brown, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. They always say the real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. Got to be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. A final shot before break. Stanton, and he's got Fitzgerald. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. All right, Brandon, back to you guys in a minute. But first, it's indeed time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Texans haven't played their best football and trail because of it. The Cardinals will want to come out after the half and really put the pressure on from the start. Here we go. Let's do this. Here's your first half highlights. Now second and eight. Stanton's got the completion here, and he caps off the six-play drive with the score, giving them an early lead. Now to late in the first half. They run it here with Deontay Foreman. He'd end up picking up 29 yards on this run. Still a little time left on the clock. Fuller's wide open, able to make the grab. He caps off the seven-play drive with a score. Still late stages of the second. We're tied back up at seven. Browns wide open here on the catch, staying late in the second. And he'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to the seven-yard line. That'll do it from here in Orlando. Let's get you back over to Houston as we rejoin Brandon and Charles.
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Incomplete. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. Another tote for the workhorse here this afternoon, Peterson. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of two, now third down. Partner, you know I'm always going to listen to you first, okay? But when I hear the PA guy say, tackle in the backfield by Clowney, my first thought is to go back to his days at South Carolina and that one particular hit <laughs> in the bowl game against Michigan. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. This one maybe not as big as that, but my mind goes there as well. Yeah, but he's a talented individual because you can use him in so many different ways. Obviously a defensive end. He can play stand-up outside linebacker and a nickel and sub situation. Rushing inside against offensive guards is usually too quick for him. And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take it inside the 40-yard line. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. It's lining up first and ten. Let's go! Green 39! Green 39! They run Peterson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Now a run with Peterson. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. So the offense now dealing with a second and seven. the gun. Stanton. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown Arizona. J.J. Nelson. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. 
that doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to seven. That time, a six-play drive. And it winds up in a touchdown for Arizona. Here's Dawson now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Tom Savage and the rest of his Texans offense heading back out there. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. down carry now for Miller and not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28 yard line three yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the passer on third down and you know what offenses want win first down so they can set things up for themselves better and that wasn't helpful there not a big impact on first down they'll run it now out of the gun and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. And while there is no gain on that run, we do know coaches whose identity is rooted in taking it almost to the limit and then changing things up on you down the stretch. I think we're getting really close to that point in time, though, where the identity may have to go out the window, and they've got to go a little bit faster in order to try and win the game. Here we go now. Now a play fake, and it's Savage. And this is going to be incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Here's Shane Leckler now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Now, let's go. now Peterson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. I know anytime you watch a team run the ball really well, there's some pinball effect, people bouncing off of each other. There's also some things of beauty in there. When you see these nice, explosive, strong runs, and this guy, he knows how to carry the football really well and continually wants the football. Why? He knows the offensive line's going to give him great effort, and he gives great effort himself to finish off runs. Carry number 20 now for Peterson. And he is hit pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down right at the line of scrimmage. 
And that's one of the few times they've been able to contain him. He's had a heck of a game, and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball. But I always think back to what all those old coaches say. The ball's not that heavy. Keep carrying it, kid. Peterson. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. So it'll be first down here after the run. Now a play fake here on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. A gain of six there on first. Looking to throw on second down. Stanton. And that's off the mark, incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown. And that takes us from second to third down. So the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. From the gun on third down, Stanton. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Lamar Houston in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. Andy Lee now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He gets this one away and boy it's another boomer. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. And a look now at Lamar Miller. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went into halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half. It gets ugly in the second half. They come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. Now a handoff to Miller. And a great move on the play as he takes this one past the 25. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Three yards to go on second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop 
by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. On third down, Miller. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They have punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. And they'll try the air now with Savage. Going deep for Hopkins. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. So the offense has it first and 10. Savage now. And his throw's going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So second and ten here. Play fake to Miller. Now Savage. He sets to fire deep. That is caught. Hopkins for the Texans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, 36 yards. And the Texans have cut it to within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Extra point attempt to come here. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So the drive there took six plays. And the result, a Houston touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. <laughs> and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter, good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps, is consistency. Taking care of the ball, making sure it gets to the right people, no errors, right? Not turning it over, and just doing all the right things. That's leadership, and it inspires confidence in a team. Yeah, been a good leadership and a good distributor. All right, here we go. Three, 19. Three, 19. Here's Peterson. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. 
Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. And they're six yards away from picking up the first here on second down. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? From the gun on third down, Stanton. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. And sensing the momentum maybe changing here a little bit, Charles. Yeah, this defense is going to get off the field quickly, and their offense got them a touchdown last time they had the ball, so they should get another shot. Here's Andy Lee now as he's on to punt for Arizona. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Savage ready to lead his troops back onto the field. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your coach? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. When I played in college, our first rule for every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball, not turn it over, keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win. Well, that's what he's done here in this one so far. Savage on first. And his throw is incomplete. And he still doesn't have a catch. We're into the second half. I think it's a little bit of a surprise to me, but that was one he should have caught. Absolutely. That was his best opportunity right there. He dropped it. today call it about a gain of three and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up not the start to the drive they were looking for that run doesn't do much at all no not at all and it leaves them with third and long and you know this is the time of game where these drives really really start to matter they've got to make some moves the texans on third down they're hitting at just 30 percent three for ten this is third and seven there's foreman and he is going to have the first down as he's up to his own 13-yard line. They get nine there, and in the process, escaping their end zone, picking up a first down. So that's what that elbow in my ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football. Caught him off guard. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you have the courage to make that type of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. Defense comes to the line now, first and ten. Off of play action, Savage. He's going to float this one deep right side. They've got his man complete. A big time play there for the Texans. 44 yards.
First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Here's a give to Miller. Solid running on the carry, but still brought down just inside of the 40. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at the home of Super Bowl 51, NRG Stadium in Houston. It's Texans football, but they trail here as we get started in the fourth quarter. So the offense readies for a second and four. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green. Operating from the gun. Savage. And his throw here is incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. So the offense needing four yards, it's third down. Let's go. From the gun, Savage. And he comes back with one complete. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you can actually be pushed back before the first down. It's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. Coming. Coming. Here we go now. Boom, oh. On first down, it's Savage. It's caught Fedorowicz. And down inside the 15, he goes. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. In the red zone this time. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Lamar Miller taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. And now a critical extra point attempt here. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. That time, a nine-play drive. And Lamar Miller caps it off with a touchdown run. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. 
Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Stanton. His throw incomplete. The tight end, Jermaine Gresham, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Throwing again, Stanton. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Out of the backfield, Adrian Peterson was the intended target. And it's third down. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and 10. Operating from the gun, Stanton. He gets it to Brown, complete. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. set of downs here. All right, here we go. Three, 19. Stanton. Wide open receiver complete. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. Face man. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mats. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. to the red zone at the 20-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. To throw on second down, Stanton. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. So here we go, first and 10 now. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Oh, 
seven yards to go on second down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. From the gun, Stanton. This is caught. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Pretty heavy traffic over the middle on that one, and somehow he emerged with the football. Way to possess it despite all the extra contact and people around him. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Here we go now. Green, 39. They'll run for it with Peterson. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Adrian Peterson taking it in from a yard out. And the Cardinals have broken the tie. And Charles, he's able to dive in there in a short yardage situation. Just find a place to get to the end zone. Didn't matter where it was, but once he did, used his nose for the end zone and dove in. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it's capped off by a touchdown run by Adrian Peterson. Here's Dawson now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. And here comes the Texans now. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. On first and ten, Savage. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. Corey Peters with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. yardage here. He lost two there, and it's third down. 
Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Out of the gun, Savage. He's got a man complete. And they finally take him down, but not before he reaches the 43. It's a big play on third down for the Texans. And even 40 yards. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Robert Kimdichi in there to sack him for a loss of six. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them <laughs> trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks and the speed and quickness that defensive line is eating them alive. Texans up front. In comes the flag. Offense. So that'll back him up five. and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Encroachment, defense. Hey, watch the slip. Watch the slip. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the Still football. Second. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. To throw on second down is Savage. He's letting this one go for Fuller. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. So it's third and long, and defensively, not a real surprise. They're in the dime. And movement here by one of the Texans up front. In comes the flag. That's going to set them back five yards. So a costly penalty, and now a tougher third down situation. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. They go play fake. Now Savage. 
And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. Here's Shane Leckler now as he's on to punt for Houston. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Here's Peterson as they begin on the ground. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Let's go. Three, Operating from the gun, Stanton. And able to find John Brown. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Let's go. From the gun, Stanton. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Andre Howe. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. Now the Texans offense, they head back out to do battle here. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. After the interception, here's Savage. And now off to the races, down the right side. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals' touchdown. Oh, that's about as tough as they come. You're driving to try to put the ball in the end zone and tie the game, and that happens. It's exciting for us, wasn't it? Because we were thinking, hey, we might be headed towards overtime. Instead, it looks like this one may very well be done. And guess what? If you're a fantasy owner and you have that defense, you just had a big, big game, didn't you?
Now Dawson for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now out comes Houston. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. First and ten, Savage, and it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Second down now after the incompletion. to throw again. Savage, right side, caught Fedorowicz. 15 yards, the Texans pick up the first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. It's lining up first and ten. From the gun, here's Savage. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A gain of six there on first. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. Here we go now. On second down, here's Miller. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Savage from the shotgun snap. And he's got it, Fedorowicz. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Personal foul, face mask, defense. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Automatic first down. Let's go, defense. Just get on the field, defense. 
First down, Savage. Finding room to the 20. Completion left side to Miller. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Green, 39. Green. They'll try and run for it with Miller. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Savage try to rally the troops and get them to the line fast. Here's Savage. And he's got it. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Braxton Miller, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans draw a bit closer. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high-percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So this drive spans seven plays, and it results in the Texans finding the end zone. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but it's still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. They start the drive with Peterson. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. But now the Texans are going to stop it as they signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field.
on second down, Peterson. And now the Texans want to call another timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. So this brings up a second and two. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know. Defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. So the offense has it first and 10. Let's go. Blue Blue now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one. And let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap, jump too quickly. So five yards remain now, still first down. Set, green, 39. Following the penalty, it's Peterson. Give him five yards there, and it'll bring up second down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. toward 40 seconds as they take the knee. Right, here we go. 
Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Well, I know it points to this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people who really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14-11 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long from Houston.